Don't know what I'm doing. Brake shields on backwards. Motherfucker. That's bullshit. Doesn't feel right. Now, wackity whack. Today we're gonna replace the front left hub on a 2017 Chevy Bolt. 22 millimeters, a good dugger. I feel like now's a good time to mention again that I just don't know what I'm doing. I've never done this before. So don't fucking listen to me. 14 millimeters, quite easy. Alarmingly easy. Just a little guy. Oh, they float in. All right, we got some wire here to catch this some bitch. Hang it instead of stressing the hydraulic lines. Suspension spring is a fine spot. Okay, there you go away. Thank you. Two twenty-one millimeter bolts back here. Take the rest of this caliper off. Clippy clip, motherfucker. Patty pad. Oh, so fresh, so clean. Twenty-one inch suckers. I'm too weak, too weak. Get this motherfucking leverage going, motherfucker. Yeah. Oh, easy peasy. Out, too weak. There we go. Sometimes you just need a bigger tool. Oh, oh man. Thread lock on there. Rotor bolt. T30 Torx, basically designed to strip in this application. If you put it on too fucking tight, we're not gonna do that. We're not that previous owner. We're the enlightened previous owner, not the dreaded. That's bullshit. Rotor falls to the ground. Ooh, we got the hub. We got the motherfucking hub. This nut is 32 millimeters. We've got an inch and a quarter, which feels pretty good, so we're gonna do it but I did not do the parking brake or anything like that. Shit. Beautiful. This is an advanced technique where we lodge something in the hub to keep it from spinning, and then we can knock it to the ground with our impact drive. Okay. All right. Tree bolts, 15 millimeters. This one here is a bit awkward to get at, so I've got my wobble extension going, and it's hard to get loose. Which is a bummer. Tears of a clown. Just not strong enough. Do you see the way I deftly caught the caliper? Fuck. Thank you, thank you, fuck you. They don't teach that shit in school. Bigger wrench, less caliper in the way. Still got the wobble going. Ah, got it. Deal with you later. This one. Still got the boot in the way, so keep with the lobs. See if you can crack them all. Crack them all. This one's gonna wanna wobble too. And possibly a longer extension. I got it, I got it. No, we didn't get it. Okay, longer extension. What the fuck? Got the long wobble, you know what I mean? Long wobble's too long. Everyone should know that by now. The long wobble is too long. Got a new conglomeration of extension bits. Short, regular ass. Oh yeah, that's the way to do it. Yeah. Ah. Fuck is my wrench? All oh, right, we had to get a moment. Whackity whack. Don't talk back. And then, if you're lucky, should just kind of slide right off. This thing spontaneously exploded while traveling through a rock uh, at speed, but it feels perfect, so maybe I'm replacing the wrong part. We're gonna do it anyway. There is some grease in here already, so I guess we'll probably do that. Look at this little thing. Some kind of sensor. We gonna clean this some bitch up. We gonna clean this some bitch down. Break clean, breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Don't forget to breathe. Break clean. Get it in your eyes. Get it in your mouth. It's carcinogenic. And it's everywhere. 
reveal your secrets. Get them splines. Everybody loves a clean spline. Thread a ruse. Oh, yeah. Shit on them three years. That's why there's grease. The sucker probably slides. Does a speed thing or something. I don't know. Given the opportunity, get the old shit out, clean it, take the opportunity. This thing appears to have some kind of a weep hole. We're gonna poke it. Oh yeah, poke the weep hole. Should that be full of grease and I'm doing the wrong thing? I don't know. I can always plug it full of shit later. All right, I'm gonna take you on a little journey here. A little journey of the hub. Uh, you've got your little sensor there that slides on the thing. And you've got your weep hole here that does some things. And uh, that's all we're doing here. Might as well take a gander at the back since my extra cameras are not available. These are all the big old bolts. These are all the little old bolts. I'm gonna grease this bitch up some. Uh, red grease makes you go faster, so we'll do that. A little on this sensor, a little thin, thin bit all around here, mostly because I'd like to prevent corrosion that I was witnessing the other, the other bearing, not as a lubricant for anything that spins. Thin little something. A little something for the splints. Could be anti-seize, but I found grease, so I'm going with grease. Forget to grease the undergrundle. It often gets seen, but we know it's there. We know what it's been doing. Just for fun, thin little bit around this here, where I saw it on the other one, and where it looks like a bit of corrosion protection would be desirable. I'm gonna grease the back of this thing where that sense ore seems to ride. I'm good at making videos. You can see everything really well because of my camera angles. Clean and greased, just the way we like it. On you go, and you'll just slide nicely and easily in. Holy shit, it is doing that. Well, it's getting there. We'll nut it on. A little bit of thread lock. We're gonna get the hub on before we mess with that nut so that the bolts are guaranteed to line up and everything without any ugga dugga business. Chris. Couple treads, finger to finger. I forgot the brake shield. You know, while I'm just staring at it, it's bare face, I'm gonna put a little, just a hint, just a hint of anise, just a, like a LaCroix, a LaCroix of anise on this face here, just to prevent corrosion and seizing when this thing is on the car for another three million miles and somebody has to replace it. Person won't be me, but maybe one day, maybe one day I'll buy a car and that previous owner will have the same problems that I do. Same psychoses. Pull this kind of shit. That doesn't matter. Clean shit. It's good for the soul. Bolts in for nice orienting. Let's see so. Dusty shield. And since we got the brake shield as well, it's painted, but it'll probably rust one day. We're just gonna do another, another LaCroix, another LaCroix, another LaCroix of fucking anisees on this thing here. Just a hint, just a touch, flavor. It's gonna be, if it's gonna be squeezing out, that's too much. This isn't even necessary, you don't even need to do this. But there's things in my brain, it's full of worms. All right. Okay, snap it up, flip it, rub it down. Oh no, get to fingering these bolt holes. Now we can snug a dug a little bit at a time. You want it to go on straight. You like that, snug a dug -a? Not an impact driver, but it's doing the same shit. Real well, perfect, perfect. Fuck you. All right, dog directly underneath me at this time. So we're gonna do the best we can here. What a great shot, dog, just, just being with me. Uh, all right, 65 Newton meters, 48 foot pounds, and then 30 to 45 degrees extra. Should be a good time. Thank you. Thank you, dog. He 
farted. Fart. He's like, oh, I'm out of here. This place sucks. It smells like farts. Thank you. And then just under 45 degrees. Why don't I raise the fucking car before I do this? Well, I'm not gonna. Oh, that just didn't feel right. Cause I spun it the wrong way. Awesome. Good call. Brilliant. <laughs> doesn't feel right. I don't feel great about this. Ow. That seems like 45. Okay. How you doing? Yeah, buddy. Oh, I know. Everything sucks and it's pretty much my fault. God damn it. Oh, golly. Oh, that feels like 45. Okay. Should have raised the car higher. All right. 45 degrees. Brake shields on backwards. And we're back. Remember to put your shield on fucking correctly. You are gonna want a new one of these axle lock nuts. Okay, the hub is torqued on, and now we must sort of pull the axle out. And we're just gonna sort of ugga dug the some bitch to pull it. Sometimes you gotta ugga dugga gently to feel what's going on. Not gonna cook it, but I'll order it from Zanzibar. All right, the hub's gonna spin. We can hold it with our hands for now, but eventually we'll need to employ uh, these advanced techniques that I was employing earlier. They do sell a special hub holding tool. <laughs> I'm not gonna have it. I don't have one of those. So, boy, Daga, watch out for your body work. Oh, okay, hub holding tool, hub holding fool. That's slightly better. Oh yeah, there we go. Just jam it, jam it up there. Get your nut on. While editing, I realized that the idiot cameraman didn't record the thing where I actually torqued the nuts. So it's a three part thing. Uh, first you torque it to a 111 foot pounds and then you back off 45 degrees and then you torque it to 185 foot pounds. So you're gonna need a big ass torque wrench. Because I'm a good citizen and I've seen too much shit, I'm just gonna go ahead and put some anti-seize on the face of this hover here. It's like a raised bit at the bottom and in the middle. And that was looking like it was getting ready to start corroding and seizing up. And it's always nice to have wet surfaces that are mating together. You get it. I'm gonna do the inside thing as well because I saw some saw some rust on the other one that I pulled off there. Everybody loves a wet mating surface. Spin stopper. Make sure your brake dust thing is correctly oriented or this won't go on correctly. All right, little caliper screw. Got a little thread locker on there. High temp if you got it. Uh, and this torques down to nine Newton meters, which is 80 inch pounds inch pounds. Most people won't bother to torque this thing, but these things just strip all day. Great little strippers. Also helps me justify the purchase of this little ass torque wrench. T30 Torx bit. Our rotor's getting jostled. Oh, so nice. Perfect. I'm once again asking you to put anti-seize on these bare surfaces that will seize. Not a lot, just some. A lot to fling, but enough that the shit won't need a hammer to come off. This is good citizenry. Someone I don't know or care about will appreciate that. And that's what America's all about. Give it a whack just in case, just to breathe it, just to just to get that inhalation. That's sweet, sweet cancer. Clapper time. Let's throw this some bitch on. I'm just gonna dangle you there quite precariously. There is some uh, discussion about whether these bolts, the hub bolts and the caliper bolts should be replaced. Some say just adding thread lock to them will do it, which I have done. High temp if you got it, <laughs> I don't. Uh, others say the bolt is something special. I'm reusing the bolts. I got new thread locker all snuggled up. Not that snuggled. Snuggle dugga. Nugget up. 
160 newton meters, 118 footy pounds. Easy peasy cover girl. You do have your brake grease lying around, right? You're going to want to have some of that brake grease lying around. And then right here in this little channel here where the pad be sliding, and that will prevent most of the squeaking you get when you get squeaking with brakes, both sides. And then we grease up the pad where she be sliding all in that motherfucker. Grease in the pads. And you know, I should probably take this off before I do this. I don't have to be so friggin' delicate. Take this little pin slidey slidey bracket off. Get a bunch of that on the back where the clapper squeezes it. You can see the piston ring. And your squeaks. Lovely, sweet and meaty. Pads are slightly different. Uh, they're handed, so make sure you put the correct pad on the outside and on the inside. Something about like that. Something about like that. Beautiful. And greasy. Beautiful. Beautiful. Beautiful wrap. Alrighty, Teddy. Get these pin drive bolts in. Yes, yes. Yes, yes, yes. 30 American foot pounds. Springs. I forgot the springs. All right, shit is buttoned up. Get the old wheel back on. Strong man. Make strong man. Okay. Bunch of threads. Bunch of threads. Give it a wiggle. Everybody get some threads. Ugga dugga, but we'll pretend it's snugga dugga for right now. Snugga the star pattern. Duh. All right. And then we'll torque it to spec when it's on the ground. 140 newton meters, 105 foot pounds. And star pattern, an all-star pattern. Okay. We've knocked, we've bucked, and now we're gonna see if we actually fixed the right part on this car. Hopefully this was helpful to you. Oh my goodness. Good video, right? It's so smooth, Jenna.